Hey everyone, my name is Martin and I'm gonna do a little first look and a small walkthrough on this new Sunlu filament dryer box called the Dryer S1. It was recently sent to me by Rebecca at Sunlu, so thank you very much for that Rebecca. And um, there is a few things here that is not gonna be on the final version but I will come to that later because uh, there's a few things fixed on it um, you can see here it's it's a white and transparent box where the half the upper size is the lid and the lower size is uh, just the housing it has the Sunlu brand name on the side if you don't know Sunlu Sunlu is a Chinese filament manufacturer that has made filament for years so you would also believe that a filament manufacturer definitely knows how to either keep moisture out or at least get moisture out of filament so um, that is very promising of course the box contains of a display or a LCD screen it's more of a what do you call it black and white screen with a backlit and it got two buttons it has an opening here and an opening here it also got a little rubber thing so whatever opening you don't use to get your filament out of you can block the other one so you have a minimum of openings so it's nice and tight there's uh, keep the warm in keep the moisture out so inside you would see that there is two metal rollers down here and um, that's where your filament rests they move freely I can see it's made out of it's four small bearings so there's no drag at all on the side you see an insulation pad uh, just to keep the warm in I guess the power consumption down and the underside here the whole curved silver thing I it's not meant to be a cover for the heater because I believe that one is the actual heater because I've touched it twice now by mistake and it's really warm so there is a warning here that is warm so do not touch it caution be cautious when plugged in this one um, only uses 48 watts means it's about 24 volt on the power that comes on your standard uh, wall socket so either a 110 or a 240 volt uh, depending on your country but it's 24 volt about 2 amps uh, on standby this one only uses 0 0.05 watts which is pretty nice because when the drying cycle is finished you can just leave it in there and don't really think about the power consumption you don't have to turn it off unplug it or anything just leave it in there press the button so it wakes up and start another drying cycle if you have a longer print or if that's needed for you so I mentioned that it's 100 millimeters on the outside but what about the inside I have a it's actually this one is a, a Sunlu rainbow silk or silky rainbow which is a fairly new color and um, that one fits nicely you can actually see that there's plenty space and this this one I would believe is what I would call a standard size uh, filament spool and it's there's plenty space so even the old school fat ones I have a few ABS rolls which is really wide I believe they even fit in this box this is a, a big bigger box I mean sorry a bigger spool from a Czech company and that even fits there's no problem this is it's about over a kilo on the spool plus the actual weight of the spool so that's a big one and even a small one this is a 500 gram one so if you want to dry out two small spools they will fit there's no problem to fit two, two small spools in there so that's pretty nice that make it big enough to hold any one kilo or smaller so Let's plug it in, see what it says. So 
on the back side there's just a regular DC plug you plug it in and um, nothing will happen on the screen it will heat up but you have to press the button now because I played around a little bit with it before I started this video it's uh, it's still a little bit warm you cannot feel it on the outside it's uh, completely cold so the insulation inside is really good so right now that's one of the things that will be changed on the uh, the version 2 the actual final version is that the backlight will be a lot brighter on this one I can see it but it's hard for the camera to pick up because it's not that bright but if you can see it I'm not sure it says that this one right now is 29 degrees Celsius if you press on the on the right button it will go to the set value so right now it says 55 degrees which is the temperature it's going to reach if you press that you can go up and down all the way from I believe 35 degrees all the way up to 55 degrees depending on which filament you're gonna dry the default setting on this box is uh, six hours so that's the standard uh, drying cycle but you can go if you long press the left button you can go into the uh, the, the, the set time and you can go up and down all the way from zero to 24 hours if you would set it to zero you would actually just force it into sleep mode and it will just go to standby and use a minimal power if you set it to any other value it will stop after that time so if you set it to 12 hours it will stop and go into standby after 12 hours um, as I said the standard one is six hours so we'll just leave it like that So, I don't know what you think. I think this thing is cool. Uh, this is only going to be a first look and walkthrough right now. If you want to see a really in-depth video, I recommend you to check out Brian from BV3D. He made an excellent review of this unit. Um, where he takes a filament spool. He puts it on a scale. He weighs it. And um, he then afterwards takes the filament, dry it out. Put it back on the scale and you can actually see on weight how much water left the filament and i really recommend you to check that video out and um, if you're interested to see what else i do you can probably see that i have some uh, some resin printers on the back side here i post a lot on instagram and you can check out my profile at martin falk 3d i do a lot of rc stuff i do some cool uh, resin prints so uh go there Follow me, comment, like, drop me a message. And thank you for watching, guys. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.